Thank you very much. Um, it occurred to me that it's not just technology that uh, really works. It's people with innovative thoughts and the spirit like we heard from Ted Turner. <laughs> so, but thank you to all of you for joining us on uh, this uh, discussion on innovation in global health and how we can best come together uh, to help us meet the health-related Millennium Development Goals in Africa. For five years, I had the good fortune of leading the World Health Organization uh, at a time of growing interest and rapid innovation in global health issues. We came together as a global community to establish the Millennium Development Goals and, of course, with Kofi Annan, where he was at the same time, this was instrumental. We created two new uh, catalytic financial institutions, Gavi, and the Global Fund to, create, to fight AIDS, TB, and malaria. Since that time, we have made considerable progress. Cut the childhood mortality rate by a third, HIV infections, down 17%, and more women have access to skilled birth attendants for healthy delivery than ever before. But our work is not done. Approximately 8 million children under 5 still die each year, largely from preventable diseases. More than 200 million women who need access to family planning do not have it. In September 2010, the Secretary General, Ban Ki-moon, launched a new global strategy for women and children's health, designed to redouble our collective efforts to meet the health-related MDGs and to accelerate progress. Overall, the contributors committed more than 40 billion US dollars in new resources with the potential to save lives of 16 million women and children under five. So innovation will be key to delivering on the commitments made in the global strategy. This conference is an important step in identifying and catalyzing further innovation. We look forward to hearing from many partners in the private and the public sectors. Three of the things that will be discussed in the coming days stem from areas of engagement by the United Nations Foundation itself. After a decade-long boom in financing for global health, funding levels are now beginning to taper off. But one recent innovation in global health financing, the Pledge Guarantee for Health, can help us meet the challenge of delivering more value for money and increasing the efficiency and effectiveness of each aid dollar or crown. Through the new transactions, health supplies can be procured up to eight months faster and commodity premiums are reduced by up to 83%. Pledge Guarantee for Health was piloted in December 2010 for the purchase and distribution of 800,000 anti-malaria bed nets in Zambia. It provided a 50% guarantee to Stanbic Bank Zambia, which enabled the bank to extend financing to the government of Zambia in advance of an anticipated World Bank emergency loan. The government then contracted UNICEF to procure and distribute the nets six months ahead of schedule and importantly, therefore, before the potentially deadly rainy season. This transaction alone will avert, avert up to 100,000 cases of malaria, saving lives and treatment costs while increasing supply chain efficiency. Now, mobile health has the ability to, we heard the, about the mobile phones all around Africa. We ha they have the ability to bridge gaps in supply chain and health service delivery to the furthest reaches 
of wireless networks and devices in underserved communities around the world. From 2005 to 10, the number of mobile phone subscribers in the developing world more than tripled from 1.2 billion to 3.8 billion. Currently, projects in more than 100 countries are exploring the use of mobile phones to achieve better health. The M Health Alliance, hosted by the UN Foundation, works to catalyze public private partnerships that will advance the use of mobile technology for health in a sustainable and scalable way. You will hear about one of its innovations, Health Unbound, or Hub, in tomorrow's afternoon session. Now, exposure to smoke from traditional cook stoves and open fires, the primary means of cooking and heating for nearly 3 billion people in the developing world, causes 1.9 million premature deaths annually, including more than 800,000 deaths in young children. The Global Alliance for Clean Cook Stoves is a new public-private initiative led by the United Nations Foundation to save lives, improve livelihoods, empower women, combat climate change, by creating a thriving global market for clean and efficient cooking solutions. As both the M Health Alliance and Global Alliance for Clean Cookstoves demonstrate, collaboration among the world's health and development uh, technical experts, donor and recipient governments, private foundations, and civil society is the way to ensure that innovation is fostered that it is developed, and that it is delivered to benefit the health of millions. So these are some of the uh, remarks that I would like to share with you, because you are coming back to several of these issues in the coming day, and uh, we are really uh, grateful that you all have come here to share uh, you know, knowledge, experience, so that we can move those connections forward even more quickly. Thank you very much.